It's the Bennington Show on a Thursday. I'm Ron Bennington. I'm Gail Bennington. We are the only father-daughter radio in the history of radio, and we were just about to give an update on everything that's happening with the storm warning in Louisiana, but the person who does sign language hasn't got here yet, and if you want to do any kind of thing with that, you've got to have somebody with sign language. And now. that person has to have a lot of pizzazz. And then and then everyone has to go, I never knew that this was outside like every time. Every single every time. Every single time. Like, yeah. look at this nut. And it's yeah. always like, yep. By the way, you know what this means? Hurricane. Oh, so hurricane. if you have to tell like a deaf person, yeah. hurricane comes up. I've, I've learned that over the years. I would like someone signing for this radio show every day. Um, Tropical storm is what it looks like right now, but that could still dump a hell of a lot of water. Yeah. This is the earliest I remember in the season getting a storm like this. Normally, uh, late August into September, September is, our always, big, yeah. uh, is our big time. Uh, August was the last really big one that hit New Orleans, but uh, I'll just uh, say this. None of you are safe. From hurricanes and tropical storms. I mean, people sit around and worry about sharks all the time. Sharks bite people one at a time. Hurricanes affect up to tens, sometimes even twenties of people. <laughs> I'm still waiting for all the news to come in. I just want to announce that the Creeps with Kids is coming to this year's JFL Festival in Montreal. Saturday, July 26, 7 p.m. I don't think I am yet allowed to announce who the special guest is Ooh, a special guest yeah special as you can get i guess um by the way thanks for saying my hat goes with this blue jacket today. i love that with a jacket yeah you're the only one who told me i didn't hear anything from earl uh yeah and you would have thought earl would have said something but no just me earl does not speak when he's jealous <laughs> yeah. you know what i mean he's very jelly what do you mean by that, Jelly? It's short for jealous, and that's what the kids say. So, Really? In my day, it was something that went along with peanut butter. <laughs> no more. So the kids don't eat jelly. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that the jelly consumption of younger kids in this country is way low. I'm shocked by that. It's a delicious, sweet little thing so to think, put on your peanut butter. You think it's the peanut butter and like the I think allergy? that's a big part of it. And then so that it's just associated with peanut butter, so it's gone off even toast. I think Why do you have a little bit on your toast? I don't think kids want it. They want butter. <laughs> you, <laughs> like get you get butter. Both. Nobody get wants butter. jelly, no butter. Yeah. I mean, that's sick. You need that's the disgusting. fat. That's disgusting. That's how I always had it. I always had straight jelly, no butter. And then I had now one I know you're butter. lying because you I'm always choose butter. I'm not lying. As a butter child, with everything. As a child, my mother would make my food for me. And she would <laughs> put the, the fucking, she would do jelly, no butter, and then a butter piece. So just one and one. What do you mean combined. butter piece? Like a butter, just a buttered piece so of toast? So you get butter on one side and then on the other side, the jelly, jelly. side? Yeah, yeah, now, yeah. look, I understand the dessert piece of toast. I've done this before where one is buttered and one is jellied. But the jellied one also should have butter. I never knew this. this I grew up in a life of just straight dry toast. And jelly. I feel like you're trolling. I'm not trolling. Is this Sade on the uh, on the phone? Sade. Oh, that's Sade. Yes. yes. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm calling because uh, I remember when Earl was pretending that he knows everything about black people and black culture. Yes. But I want to find out why he can't articulate why he doesn't like black women. Earl, it's this true. is a really interesting thing. And I don't think his, Earl is the only uh, black man who turns his back on black women. Um, yes, true. And uh, I, but think, I want to know why. I, he, I'm going to give you, before I'm going to let Earl answer, because Earl told me once we were out having some bourbon and cigars, and Earl said to me that white women are the uh, Rolex uh, of a black man's breast. To have a white woman on mm. his arm is, is that, like having a Rolex. Is that right? What is that all about, though, Earl? It, well, it's not true that I don't. I love black women. I, from <laughs> afar. <laughs> not from afar, just in general. Everything about them, I love them. Dude, I mean, then why did you tell Chris to go straight white women on your Bumble account? <laughs> I didn't tell him nothing the of first, the sort. The first date I set up with him was with an African-American woman, and he had no time for just her. By the way, be. can I just say... Of all the women on paper and also just pictures, 
I thought she was the most stunning, and I thought she was really cool. Earl said he would like her as a friend, not as a romantic partner. He wanted a white bitch for that, mm. he said. So this what do you think about bourbon. what Shade said? Uh, I strongly disagree with Shade. I, like, as far as clap back, I, everything happens in black culture so fast now, you can't even keep up with it anymore. Come on, Earl. What kind of answer oh, the, oh, the clap back issue yesterday. One of the interns said that clap back goes syllable by syllable. I'm a teacher for black kids. It doesn't go syllable by syllable. It goes by your time, whatever the best rhythm is, but no correction was made and Earl was silent. Yes, sorry, Earl, why I didn't you correct know, that? I don't know anything about clap back. Black, you don't know about black culture. I know plenty of black, black uh, culture. Maybe is that why you feel intimidated by black women is that you don't understand the cultural references. Um, growing get, up with six sisters, you get a pretty good education on black culture and on black women. Mm -hmm. So, But not to date. Oh, definitely we, we about need, definitely about dating too. Thank you. That's all we needed. Mm. He will not date them. If he does, he treated this sister like a sister, mm -hmm. which you okay. did the other night. <laughs> Where this white woman, you're taking out, you're going to Leonard Cohen, which, by the way, you couldn't get whiter. No, that's the whitest thing possible. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a Canadian <laughs> white, mm -hmm. and you were like, "Oh, we're so interested in Leonard Cohen." And Earl doesn't want to meet up with any of the, the African American ladies that we're talking right. to on, on Bumble. Like it's all white women he's going out with. And okay, I guess that's a preference, but he's acting like it isn't. That's the problem. Not like have it. you stuck with the black woman? No. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Yes, Earl. I have. I know every woman that you slept with, and every one of them was white <laughs> and was insane. <laughs> white and insane. He used to pick this one white uh, woman up at the loony bin. Oh my goodness! No, I, I I've, I've, I've been with black women. I, I adore black women. Adore them. Like you almost say it like little cousin or something. Yeah, it was like adore. too much to be with. Not too much to be like with. A sister. Not right, like a sister. Like a sister. At sister. At all. Not at like all. here. Hold my jacket while I sleep with this white woman. Because that's what you want. I'll just admit it. Everybody has their own kink, girl. Is that yeah. your preference? Do you have a racial preference? My racial preference is a black woman. If I if I really wanted to be with, I would be with a. Then black why woman. are you dating this white woman over and over? <laughs> it's because she's interesting lady. and and cool and and, what, just, and black women aren't. I'm not saying they aren't. He said to me, he goes, uh, "Oh, do, do are you?" He goes, "Me and my white woman went out to a uh, Leonard Cohen thing." That's strange I go, to say. I go, "The only documentary I want to see is Marty Cohen, Party, Marty, Party <laughs> from Solid Gold." Do you remember him, Earl? Of course you do. You remember every white person. I look at this Bumble account and I just see one white woman after another. Why? It's just, it's the only it's one's, on your phone, only Chris. thing he responds to, man. It's the only thing he wants. Look, here's another one just came in. He said, Chris, talk to that lady. Jess, 39, yeah. four side white. Mm. Likes, doggy style. Come on, Earl. It's, he said ASAP get in touch with her. I was like, you can't be ordering me around, dude. I'm the one doing you a favor. White and blonde, which is even to to most white people, that's the whitest you get. Yeah, it's when that's, you're a blonde white person. That's upper echelon white. Hey, by the way, when you do the conversing for, you keep it short, huh? I keep it short just to see if I get anything back quick. Yeah. All right. And then you got to go deep. For me, I have, I have zero problems with black women. No. None. Can, can you name any beautiful black women? Like, what kind of black woman are you attracted to? Uh, Halle Berry. My, right, this is stop let me, right let me there. Start with, you know I'm who not... says Halle Berry? Every white guy in America. Yep. You know why? Earl? Why? Because she doesn't see... Because you could take her into a white party. <laughs> you know what I mean? Interesting. You know, my childhood crushes were Pam Greer, Lola Falana, Diane Carroll... Um, who was the other one? Uh, I think you're uh, a Teresa, man now. Why Teresa are you going Brewer. back to your no, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just. You're a man. I'm going. You're a man I'm, in 2019. Lola Falana was around in 1968. <laughs> Here we are, 2019. He can't name one black woman. <sighs> Look at him. He's sighing. No, yeah. I'm not sighing. I'm just like I'm trying to provide some context. Yes, of, uh, 2019 context. Not 1971 content. I mean, something 2019, I was complimenting Beyonce once, and he was like, meh. Uh, yeah, he uh, wasn't attracted to her. I'm, of course he's attracted. What do you, Rihanna's attracted. Cardi B? Very attractive. 
Mm. Sade doesn't like, buy it. Yeah. yeah. She doesn't buy it. But no. that's her that's her opinion. She doesn't she doesn't buy it. Why that's don't on you her. listen to black women? What why you always just No, like, like if, if, I, if she I'm said. if she's asking a question and I'm answering and, like, huh, and I'm like I'm giving you a solid answer and you're like, wow, yeah. man, holy shit. shit. Why are you being so mean to me? I'm a black woman calling in and look how rude you're being. Look how no, you're fired look, up you're like, like, uh, you're like you're just dismissing me outright and I'm like, I'm you're asking no, a question and I'm answering it. I asked a question and I answered it and you're like, mm. What do you know? You're just so dismissive and judgmental. Wow, oh, dear this God. is a dark side. I don't think I could talk for you hey, anymore. On easy, this thing. Oh. <laughs> Earl, I noticed that you get very angry with black women. No, I get angry when I'm them. when you're when I'm asking. I get angry with anyone when I ask a question and I and I, and I yeah. give you an answer. And you're just giving. Yeah. Ugh. So you didn't get. Back <sighs> right. I yeah. give him two separate. Yeah, things. you did. Just ask yeah. him, and yeah. he didn't. You see, Gail just sighed. Did he just yell at Gail? No, yeah, no. 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 He puts her on a pedestal. Yeah. He does. White he treats woman. me like a queen. Gail's a white woman. Yeah. Yeah. Still, whatever, whatever problems you had. I mean, to be fair, one. I mean, I do. Uh, while we are buddies, I do razz you quite a bit, and you you never sass me he, back. He loves ever. it. That's what he's into. <laughs> Not From it. me. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, have you guys seen the baby that looks like Wanda Sykes? No. Because I'm obsessed with it. Oh, my God. I think it's up on the iBang now. There's I mean, I love Wanda Sykes so yeah. much, so it's just the thought of I mean, of her it looks like form. a mature Wanda <laughs> Sykes, but it's baby. <laughs> uh, by the way, I never hear Earl bring up Wanda Sykes. Nope, he has no time. I love Wanda yeah. Sykes. Do you? Oh, Wanda Sykes, she's brilliant. I love he her. He likes Lola Falana. <laughs> He had to go back and think of some. But I'm, I'm just giving you a, going back. The, and the dad here is doing something Earl never would do is Aww, brush, the brush hair. out her natural hair. She's no. so precious. And oh my God, she is. She gets more and more Wanda Sykes looking. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God, she's so smile. cute. It's okay, man. That hurts, it's okay. man. Yeah, you get, don't pull her. Fathers are never good at brushing They're, hair. No. Oh my God. She's an angel. She's a little Wanda Sykes angel. I would just start treating her, teaching her stand up. <laughs> <laughs> Earl, would you like to uh, apologize, Sade, for the way that you snapped at her? I'm not going to apologize for for defending myself. Basically, you know, she's coming at she calls calls coming at me. Coming and it, at you? How's that coming at you? She, you she, act like it should get physical now. No, not at all. Not at all. I'm I'm just a curious listener. I'm following along with the story, and okay. I just have had questions. And, that's and, all. and I appreciate that. I, that's why and, you're but, on a radio show. But you, you were you asked having a, a conversation, buddy. Yes, and you asked a question, and I answered it, and it wasn't good enough for you. So that's on you. That's oh. not on me. Mm. So do you want me to apologize to you, Earl? No, Is no, that no. What you need? no. You have an you opinion. Need, Earl? <laughs> you have an opinion. And yeah. guess what? I respect that opinion. I don't this. agree with it. Earl, if I was a cop, I'd separate you two and I'd take you in a car. <laughs> this is a scary side of Earl. That I, I it feel... is a scary side of Earl. You been drinking? No, so I have don't you been drink. Drinking? Do you have anything sharp on you right now? I got nothing. If I go through your pockets, am I going to get pockets, cut? I got nothing. Hey, he has been drinking to, on these dates. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I nursed a glass of wine. We still drank it. You don't drink, man. It's going to fuck you, you up. And then you glass the nurse. <laughs> so which, which one is worse, Earl? It is funny, though, when you find out you have a black friend and then you find out that he doesn't respect black women. It's always weird. shocking when weird. that happens. It's a weird societal thing, and Earl's been exposed. I mean, this has happened a couple times now. I do feel that way as a listener. Like, I feel like he's not he's afraid or intimidated or isn't interested in the black women. And I'm just wondering, does he, can he articulate maybe why his preference is for white women? Are they nicer? Are they more docile? Are they not as intimidating? Are you afraid to sleep with the black woman? I'm just I'm, wondering. I'm not, I'm not trying to attack you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's start. Wait, let me, start. Let me answer right, one question girl. at a time. Easy, no, girl. no. She's easy. coming at me with all these questions. No, let me start with one. Every time she's just she's asking questions. Is coming out. Dasa, I mean, just don't like black women. What? I love black it's women. It's a great place to start this yeah. conversation. Number one, I love black women. I, I, I've never heard you say that, ever. That's ever. I just said it. What do you oh, mean? You're not oh, listening. Oh, my God. There he goes. How many times did I say oh, it when you Jesus. called and you say, I don't love black today. women? I said, today I love black women. Yeah. Yes, because you asked the question. Okay. Yes, but that's do not Do you love your sisters or do you love black women? I, I have six sisters. I love them dearly. Ooh. They I, I am the summation of all of them. What? 
Are you sleeping with them? <laughs> Not in that way, you perv. Do you feel like if you were with a black woman, you'd feel like a lesbian, Earl? No, not at all. Is this... Oh, they take away his masculinity. That's what it is. That's exactly what That's it, it is, Chris. That's it, because he just associates every black yeah. woman with one of his sisters. By the way, you, with your hair today, you look like pudgy Dave Grohl. <laughs> That's not beard. bad. Yeah, no, I it's mean, great. I'll take it. If you yeah. have to be a pudgy anyone, why not? Yeah, it's great. Better than Russell Crowe. <laughs> now, Earl, you got exposed today. Not exposed that's a, at all. That's a learning place Oops, for you. Sorry, you're going. Yeah, and honestly, I think Shadi was just asking questions, right? That is 100% correct. Earl says it. According to you, yes. Oh. What the fuck, Earl? What Again, about, that's your what opinion. About, Whatever what? opinion you have, go ahead. Have it. What's that mean? Yes, because anything I say is not going to be correct here, and according to our brain. So, <laughs> so I'm just not. Brain. What are you saying? That's not true at all. I'm just trying to wait a minute, understand wait, not you true, better. Wait, not true at all. I, I, you asked a question. I answered it. Right? You said I don't love black ones. I said it a million times. I feel like if she was here now, you'd be choking. Her. Not at all. That's scary. <laughs> don't get. Violent I am not a violent person. My at ass all. is on the line too. <laughs> really? <laughs> you said you're not a violent person, but you're being very violent. Not at all. And all she did is expose you and your hypocrisy, <laughs> and you That's turn it, <laughs> and you turn it into something else. What was the last woman Earl was with? A white porn star. That's right. That, that is a, not true. My last a, girlfriend was a Puerto Rican. What uh, color is a lily? Wow. Excuse me. What color is a lily? Color is lily. Lily's a white. Lily is a the color of lily is white. But my last girlfriend was a Puerto Rican. So what is that? Game? Nine years ago? Ten years ago? How long ago was that? Oh, that was nine years ago if you have to get into all of my business. Oh, oh, oh whoa, damn, Earl. Oh. You're oh. fucking... I feel like if, if Ron asked you that, you would not respond he, that way. He, has, has, so he has asked me that question, me. but he asked it in a tone that was more respectful. You're not being very respectful right now. See, this is what I feel like. You, you seem to have a problem with black women's tone, apparently, yeah. because I don't think I'm being aggressive at all. I agree, hundred percent. No. Yeah, what, what? Eight million questions, and then you won't allow me to get a word in edgewise. What? What is that? Uh, if well, let me you allow me, an you're argument, asking me a question, Earl. and you you ask me a question, I start to answer one. You ask, pile it one on top of the other. I'm like, let me ask true. one at okay. a time. Then I'll be quiet, and you can answer as many questions as you'd like because I'm actually interested in the answer. I think he thought. If I asked him the same question Sade is, he would have thought, oh, look, white people are accepting me. This is great. Mm -hmm. But when a black woman says it, he sees it as an attack or coming at him. Uh, again, just bombarding me with questions. Like, let me answer. Let me ask you, ask, answer one question at a time. And then when I answer it, you just it's just very dismissive and like, nah, like not good enough for me. What would make you happy? I didn't mean to make you feel that way uh, earlier. So, I mean, I still would like to have the conversation. I'm, I'm right here. Let's have the conversation. Earl, she's, she's talking. She's trying to I'm talk not tough talk. She's like, I want to. I'm like, I made a statement. She said nothing. And then I asked a question. And then I made a statement. Like, hey, let's have the conversation. I feel like I, I know that you think that you're on the attack, but I'm just going to try to be a cool head here. I don't think that Sade has given a tone or yelled at you. You know, I feel like she she approached it uh, with pretty evenly, don't you think? I, I think she came right. She's coming. She called in to come at me. So okay, let's let's go. How is that true? Earl? If I said, Earl, I never called to come in to come at you. I just have been wondering this because I listen to this show every day. I'm following along with what's going on with your Bumble and this and that. And I just was making observations and had some questions. I thought this was a safe space to come in and ask questions. This is a safe. It doesn't place. feel safe. No, it isn't safe. Well, not with one Earl here. person, but oh my not god, with Earl here. I'm gonna get arrested. Well, that's but it, that would have happened anyway. <laughs> let's be honest. Yeah, it's not Earl's fault. Possession but for a charge I wasn't expecting. <laughs> Oh, you gotta get your anger under control, man. My you... anger is fine. Easy, man. I have no Easy, anger. Bro. <laughs> you just I yelled at me. Your anger I have zero is fine. anger right now. The one reason, just tell me why you're threatened by black women. Right? I'm not threatened. I am not threatened by black women at all. Not Every at time all. that you fight with a listener, it's a black woman because they keep true. calling in, like questioning my blackness. I, I, which I 
Well, your and blackness that, isn't in question here. I've never well, it, heard anyone question your blackness. No, well, the, I just no, said, the first I said one earlier, one. But she didn't make the correction on the clap back yesterday, so I was just correcting an error. Right. And, and, I, early, and I, I answered I the question. I said, I did not know what it meant. That's all I said. That's okay, and that's fine. And Earl, I actually relate to you because I grew up with white people in Catholic schools, and I, I don't. Black people tell me that I'm not black enough all the time too. So I've been relating to you and pondering about these issues, and that's why I chose to call in. I get those accusations as well. Yeah, but you came in. He's like, you. First of all, you. I think you. If I'm not mistaken, you said I know all things about black culture. And the first thing I said was, I don't like. There's things happening in black culture so fast, I can't keep up. What is happening so fast that you can't keep up? There's bro? term. There's there's terms that are happening. <laughs> what is other happening day. that you feel that you no longer are interested in black culture? I'm completely interested in black culture. You gotta get on black Twitter. That'll keep you up, man. Search some hashtags. Yeah. No way will he do that. You know why? Why? There's black women on yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Oh, black, black Twitter. Yeah, I have been on black Twitter. It's it's hilarious. I love black Twitter. Oh. Well, so you're laughing at it. Okay. Yeah. I got you. Not laughing at it. A lot of it I agree with. Um, Shade, first of all, I'll just say we're embarrassed and we apologize to you. Oh, thank you, Ron. I appreciate that. I'm glad you called in, though. Yeah. yeah. Um, All right, guys. Well, thank you, guys. Have a good day. Bye, 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 Sade. Oh, that was humiliating. I didn't think it was humiliating at all. She, I you thought, lost your mind on another black woman. I mean, lost my mind on another black woman. She, if you're gonna come at me like that, I'm gonna defend myself. That's all I was doing. I don't get it, man. You might have an anger problem, bro. Only with black women. Yeah, yeah. You know what I think, girl? Did you ever see that uh, movie, The Help? No, I have not. I refuse to see that movie. I think you just ate a shit pie. <laughs> no, I think I she didn't. served you yeah. a shit pie. Do you refuse to see that movie because there's black women in it? Not because they're black women. Why don't you get back to La La Land for the 45th time? <laughs> More white cinema. I never saw La La Land either. I hate, I hate the premise of it. Hey, Richie, Music? what's up, buddy? All right, I'm an old school listener. I've been with you guys since day one. I am a big-ass card holder, okay? Okay. I don't remember if it was with you guys or with ONA, but there was a show somewhere back along the lines where Earl said that he prefers white women. Yeah. I don't remember when or which show you guys or any ONA, show, but any it day. happened. It happened. Get the tapes. I'm, I'm, uh, like I'm, I said, I, I'm, I'm trying Can not to. Can we all just imagine this? If Richie was a black woman, Earl would come flying at him he right now, wrap their claws out. <laughs> But because right, all, all, it's Richie from the Bronx. Hey, Richie. That's not nice my gender. Nice to see you. Yankee. Yeah. Yay, Yankees pizza meatball. <laughs> you see what we're saying, Earl? Hey, Richie. Gabagoo, Richie. <laughs> uh, Craig, Greg. Greg, what's up? Hey, what's up? Mom, yeah. Mayor? Yeah, sure. Hey, uh, I uh, I joined Bumble the other day at the behest of of Chris Stanley. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm recently separated. Nice. And uh, my my first encounter the, the the first day I was on it, I hooked up, spent the the day and night with the lady, and she turned out to be completely fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I, I had my my thing set, my relationship set on casual. So then I turned it to relationship, and I went and had a, a lovely lunch of breakfast tacos in mm, Houston, Texas, so with the lady. That's great. Man. Had a had a lovely conversation, and, and it and it didn't work out, but it was it was very pleasant. I think Chris Stanley is the problem here. He's what, uh he's 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 well he's guiding Earl in the wrong direction. What's and I, I really like Chris Stanley. I like you, man. Well, he's he's a uh, yeah yeah I love you, Chris Stanley. But real, what real, direction real, real, real is he guiding Earl in? To finally dating? Yeah. Earl's having a ball dating, aren't you, Earl? He is enjoying I'm, himself. Uh, last week was a great week. <laughs> I mean, 
I can't tell you how giddy he was yeah, to go on the second date. So happy with it's Bachelorette a number nice two. Day for a white wow. woman, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little sister, I don't want you. <laughs> Oh, no. So, Greg, what's your point? What has Chris Stanley done? Yeah. Well, he's he's he can't relate to Earl, and I think because they're coworkers, there's always going to be a little bit of animosity. Like it, you can have you can have a good friend that's a coworker, but when you work with someone, they but start what has to he done irritate wrong you a little bit. Earl? Yeah, it's, sure, there's animosity, but I've done this is all love for Earl. I mean, I'm just trying to get him on some dates, and it worked. I mean, I, I you know I. Two days in of Bumble, he was going on dates. He had dates planned. So, I mean, that was the only thing that was happening here. That's the only plan. That was the whole thing. That was the end game. Get Earl in a date with a woman. Get Earl. Yeah, but you, you, you see, you're kind of like me. You seem to be the, the type of person that is no. that is very, very open and, uh, and, and speaks your mind. And Earl's very reserved. So, y'all are opposites, but you're handling his, his account. So, you're kind of... You're kind of speaking for yourself and not exactly for Earl. Hold on. Let's let's let Earl answer. Earl. No, no. All the dates, are you happy with them? Even the ones that you didn't, weren't sexually attracted to, you enjoyed the date. I enjoyed every date. Every yeah. date was was I mean, was fantastic. Good. Yeah. I mean, Chris and Chris has, has been, been, Chris has anything. He's been very reserved. And like, because yeah, Chris is very, I have to because be. he yes. doesn't want to blow it for him. I mean, yeah. he said to me, I'm not going to hit them with a bunch of like charming little things that he knows that Earl's never going to say to them in person. There's no cursing. I don't curse in any of the texts. I don't even is, know how you can do that. I don't know. It's the hard. Leonard Cohen girl, right? That you've been on two dates with. Are you guys texting with your own phone now? Yes, we are. Okay. Yeah. So, so I, I have no. He's taken over. Yes, because you, I, that's how this thing works. You go from the app to the phone to the real. It's just that's how it happens. So this is still going good, right? Yes, it's when, still going. When's good. the last time she checked in with you? Um, we well, was it today's Thursday, Tuesday, Tuesday oh, night? Oh boy, that's really bad, dude. I feel that's like if you don't get a text icy. by this evening, I'm yeah. concerned. Yeah, me too. Who is the last? Here's a good question. Who's the last person to have sent a text in your phone text oh, conversation? Perfect. Uh, the young lady that you guys saw on Monday. No, that... no, like between you and the Leonard, Leonard Cohen. Cohen. So sh you and Leonard Cohen are texting oh, on okay. your phone. Sorry. And then wh who texts the last text? You or her? I did. Oh, boy. Uh, that's not good. What was the last thing that you said? Are you there? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Please talk to me. <laughs> Do you know where she lives yet? Not, not like actual address. No. What part of town? West Village. Nice. Oh, that's Very real, cool. That's real nice. Al Cohen's doing there. well for herself. I'm gonna be down there tonight, along with just about every guest who did our show this week. <laughs> <laughs> now, Earl, why don't you grab your phone and let's just go over the text and let's see if we see a red flag here. Yeah, because this this is the ultimate way to figure it go out. Go over your last six texts. Or I'm going to need you to get a copy of your cell phone <laughs> and give it to me. I think it's called spoofing. I'm not sure. I, had no, I, I can't be. I think it's. I think, it's I think that's the sex act where you put food into someone's <laughs> vagina or ass. Really? I thought that was just called dining. <laughs> oh, no. Spoofing is when, you, uh, when you let your fooling caller ID. So I just need a copy of your SIM card. <laughs> There's no name for it. <laughs> just, just give me like, you can just give me a cheap iPhone. Why don't I don't you invent a name? <laughs> You have him, Earl? No, uh, give me a second. How, it's how, how many people are you texting not be able to find this lady? What color is Lily? White. Mm -hmm. And he got friends. Like how nice he said it. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. But when she asks. No, I'm, I'm, try, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to stay calm. I'm really... Stay calm with her. Yeah. Not me. Scream at me. I'm your buddy. I can no, but, fucking take but, it. But, but she, she's the thing, oh, yeah, yeah, in black culture. And then, and then, and then, okay, nah, 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 slow that's, down, slow you're down. You're taking away her humanity. I'm not taking her away her humanity. It was just, I, I feel bad because now she can't defend herself. Exactly. That. And you're still mocking her like, me, 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 me. I mean, what is this? What does the fox say? <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot of people <laughs> are claiming Earl's going to walk, walk out today. I don't think that at all. No. No reason to. Zero. You know what uh, E Rock was posting today? What's that? Seven years since uh, Steve. Oh, wow. Isn't that crazy? Doesn't seem like seven years. And that was, that was your buddy, right, Earl? Yeah. We were um, very tight. Yeah. Wow. 
Did you know it was that long or you thought it was shorter? Um, it does not feel that long at all. What would you guys do together? No, we would just, you know, we were, you know, we were colleagues and we would just, and he would just play me all that weird, weird great production he would do. And we just talk about, I, the last time I spoke with him was about, I think about two months before he passed. And he was in, uh, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, uh, to get very emotional. I'm sorry. You were emotional earlier with that black woman. Anger. So, yeah, he says seven years ago today. And then the other says, how long has it been? Jesus, dude. I just told you. Come on, bro. Mm. So let's read those texts, Earl. Come on, I'll find them. Are you really going on dates? <laughs> oh my God, act? that's weird. What if he isn't? That would be great. <laughs> that would, would be it. fucking nuts. I would love it. <laughs> Right, go ahead. Actually, uh, the last text we had, actually it was right before we went to the right before yeah, we so met. So go the back theater. six or seven. Okay. Yeah. Um, big, um, one was uh, and I can't tell who wrote what. It's like, should I get tickets? And of course, I, you can tell who wrote what. One's on the left. One's on the right. Go on the back right. before that, like when you guys were just having a fun conversation. Who said should I get tickets? I hope it would be you. What is this fucking? Right now? I'm, going back, I'm going back to the beginning. Every fucking date with Earl is a Sadie Hawkins affair. Jesus Christ. Look, I know you're a modern guy. You like to go Dutch, but... <laughs> Dutch oven. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this was after our first date. Yeah, go ahead. It's like, uh, hey, Rachel, it's Earl. Just wanted to say a quick hello. Last night was a lot of fun. Have a safe trip and a wonderful fourth. Oh, that, that is, is so fucking sweet. Like, great, that actually dude. made me That's want to tear bad. up because it I was know. really sweet. It's, pretty it's good. really, really nice. And uh, let's see the new Lennon Cohen doc when you get back. Hey, Earl, thanks. That sounds great. Hope you have a, get a ton of relaxation this weekend. Talk next week. All right. Oh, my God. Okay. Really nice and okay. friendly. All right. Did you tell her you need a lot of relaxation? No, I was just. She was women like, love to hear that you don't have energy. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's like, what do you want to do? I was like, oh, I was off that weekend and I had nothing planned. I was just kind of yeah. chilling. Just chilling. Did you tell her I was on uh, local news? <laughs> show? You send her, that, you send her the link. Send her that link. Tell her this is the guy you were talking to at first. <laughs> What'd okay. she say next? Um, and then um, this was the Monday. Uh -huh. uh, I just went, good morning. Hope your weekend was epic. Mm -hmm. Hi, Earl. Epic family arguments. Ha -ha. Oh, Outside of that, it was good. a lot of fun. How was your weekend? Oh, dysfunctional. I'm concerned. Red Why don't you write to announce and say, I was just thinking of you. So glad you were a white girl. <laughs> what I just went through with Sade was unbelievable. <laughs> See, you know, if Sade made that joke, he wouldn't laugh. He'd fucking yeah. flip out. <laughs> and then just write, you believe it's been seven years since Foundry Music? <laughs> why would you laugh at that? <laughs> I just did, I, it should have. Weird, I should Chris. have. I know, I'm strange. Chris, why it's would not, you laugh at that? Not a thing to laugh about. And yet you do. Yeah, you're laughing. Hey, these are your texts, okay? You got it. So hold her, on. Dude. So then, after you saw the movie, you guys haven't corresponded since then. Um, no, we haven't corresponded since then. I did I feel send like her. Then you can correspond again. That's like yeah, it's back yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you got to. That's fucking, a clean slate. You got to go. You're not man. waiting for a response. I think that you say, "Would love to get together again for another." <laughs> the Leonard Cohen party. I'll go and join. You got to send her. Look, dude. You got to send her memes. And like fuck I like the meme thing. Like send all... her memes, dude. What about gifts? Or gifs, yes. Oh, God. Just send her a Steve Carell thing. You're gonna <laughs> love that. Really funny. She'll really like that. Are there any Leonard Cohen memes? Try to find some. Send them to her. <laughs> I'm gonna check. I'm gonna dude, see if send her the gift. baby that looks like Wanda yeah. Sykes. Do it. Say this is my niece. <laughs> all right, there's some weird Leonard Cohen memes. But look, you can find somewhere all you send them to her. You got to fucking just get some sort of conversation going to you need, you need to get another date before she leaves for three weeks. Wait, why is she leaving for three weeks? She's uh, going to Israel for three weeks. Jesus Christ. To what? Do what? Fight Palestinians? Come on, Earl. Oh, my God. She's a, <laughs> God. She's a Zionist. Ask her if she's for Ocasio-Cortez or Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, she she is very liberal. She'll probably be AOC. And that's a okay. She's way liberal. Yeah, very liberal. Yes. 
More so than you? Um, actually, I think we're about on my liberal side about the same way. I still consider myself a moderate in a weird way. <laughs> <laughs> you could be weird about what, moderate. What is moderate that you so she, don't want women to have abortions? <laughs> <laughs> so you're more conservative than her, is what you're saying. You She's might more be. Liberal. She might be more liberal. What are yeah. you conservative about, Earl? Um, I uh, f- mainly fiscal responsibility. I'm, I'm still. I believe we should be fiscally responsible. Well, but. Since you're President Trump, went in, you know we're up twenty five percent. So fucking just spending hand over fist. Why don't you write this to her? Um, uh, just like a political for the thing, say that you support the troops. <laughs> no matter what, even the troop in the My Lai massacre. <laughs> did you, did she ask about your upside down pin? Your American oh flag? yeah, yeah, she did. And, she, and most people, when they see it, they love it. And yeah. I don't know. I think I I, I think I was in Penn Station once. I kind of got uh. Got a side eye from one of those guards that yeah. was. Um, They're troops. You know what? Yeah, you know, the National Guard guys, the Stadies. I think you <laughs> should do is get the support the troops yellow ribbon and put it upside down, and that says you don't support the troops. <laughs> I mean, now you're really on the edge, dude. Fucking bold. But you just put up a fucking thing that said, I support the poop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear that. <laughs> Please tell me that the t-shirt must exist, right? I mean, it has to. I mean, it's genius. <laughs> um, Greg, Greg, what's up, buddy? Hey, Ronnie. Yeah. I think you're all might have some mommy issues. Just from being Ooh. told that the girl is by a mommy no, situation. All, all that sister telling them what to do. And- so I'll tell you this, I met her Earl's mom, delightful. Right and yeah, well, quite we sexy. Don't, we, don't know, we don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Earl, was there a mommy issue thing with you? Did your mom no, I'm... make you sit in your wet fucking panties? <laughs> no. <laughs> her <laughs> wet panties, which is oh, really oh, weird. No. Earl, you Earl. Know, oh. your family. I'm going to gag. <laughs> As though I really made him do that. He flailed his arm. Why don't we do this? <laughs> it's not let's, in your mouth. <laughs> let's give Earl a, a letter grade as a dater so far. After being, and everybody remember this. Yeah. He was on the bench for nine years. Yeah. He came into the fucking starting position, not even coming off the bench. Mm-mm. So, Gail, you're going to go first. What do you give Earl as a dater so far? I'm going to be honest here. Yeah. Considering my expectations of how I thought this was going to go, I'm going to give Earl an A minus because I was shocked how well he did on two of the four dates, having a great connection, yeah. being a good sport about even the ones that he didn't. Uh, you would have got an A plus, but I really liked the first girl and I felt like maybe he was yeah. you know, not into it. But I thought you have done a great job so far. He Throwing said he enjoyed his time it. with the first girl. He yeah. just wasn't sexually attracted because of her black skin. Chris, no. what do you give him? Uh, I give him a C plus because of no physical contact, really, no action. Oh, That's my problem. I mean, look, like, like he's he's met these women, he's gone on dates with them, but nothing's come of it yet. I'm going to give Earl mm-hmm. an A, an A, despite the no sexual contact. Matter of fact, I'm going to give extra points for not pushing it sexually oh, because okay. I think Earl needs. Her to lead him in. I think oh, emotionally Earl's a bottom. And if he tries to be aggressive, it's going to come across right. crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm proud of him mm-hmm. for not fucking texting back in two days and not feeling freaked out. Because I've known when he used to harass women. Right. I think yeah. he's doing fantastic. How long do you wait to text your babies? I always give my babies three days. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sometimes four. You know, because I like to leave them dangling out there. <laughs> you know? I like to break them first. Girls. <laughs> to me, a woman's like a pony. I want to break her and then, you know, build them back up in the way I want them to be built. Now, uh, because I'm going to give uh, Earl an A and I'm going to give Vito an F for not trying. Oh, oh. yeah. He and gets I, an F minus. Could me. you imagine if we said one of these guys is going to start dating? I, which one? 100% would have said Vito because I feel like. Everything he's doing has been to better himself 
why not enjoy uh, the company of another person? You know person? why? Because he's bettering himself like a fucking psycho killer. You know what I mean? Mm, this is like yeah. watching Taxi Driver play out in real life. He showed me his new business card and he said, this is eggshell. It really I, creeped me out. I am telling you that Vito has, as he's lost weight, He's also lost the personality without building a new one. I, I, I don't think I've lost my personality. I know that you have. I think When's I'm, the last time, other than your set opening, that you've went for the joke on this show? I don't know. Thank you. Now, you mentioned, if I said that to even a guest, did you go for a joke today? Oh, yeah, I, I came on the Bennington show. I wanted it to be funny. I wanted it to be amusing. Could you mention if someone left there, left here? As a guest, and went, I didn't even attempt a joke. <laughs> You'd be thinking to yourself as you're going down in the elevator, I'm a doofus. I'm a <laughs> fucking dweeb. You They're got, never going to invite me back. You got to find your jolly back, mom. <laughs> you got to find your jolly back, mom. <laughs> you were the jolly man of this show. You were the guy that fucking brought us together with your fat <laughs> happiness. <laughs> I miss that fat happy. I miss that fat happy guy too. Can you apply your fat personality to this thin body? Because I'm if you're if you can't I'm happy. I'm very happy. I'm fucking jolly happy man. Dude, I just, you're not that's not even you a can't, joke. You, can't scream so. you should have been, everything that you say comes across angry now. Chris didn't say a joke, he just said jolly man. <laughs> the way he said it was so said, funny. He's man. like jolly man. Or yeah. something like that. It was Here good. comes a jolly yeah, man. Fun. Give him a banana. <laughs> You want to eat with me? Song. You want to eat with me again, Ma? No, I don't want to eat with you. <laughs> Just have a bite. Get Why some you left for ice cream? Something. You want ice cream? We don't Remember know why. We used to go out for ice cream together. We went out for ice cream Come twice. Back to my fat ways, Vito. <laughs> Just I do it. I don't like ice cream because it drips too fast, and then you have to eat it all very quickly. You love eating quickly. Hold bro. on. Let's see if that's the exact opposite of funny. Yes, it is. You're just saying the truth. Nobody wants it. Let's party. Go look at look at the way he's sneering right now, like a fucking badger ready to attack. <laughs> he's catching that from Earl and his anger against black women. His room is infected with anger. Get Matt out of there and in here, <laughs> Matt the intern. Matt, Matt, run, run, run get Matt. out of right there. Right away, break good. in there. Who do you think is crazier right now, Earl <laughs> or Vito? I'll say this. Earl's back to normal because there's no black woman right, on exactly. the phone. Right, exactly. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's not good in there. It's not good in there, right? You okay now? Yeah. Much you feel better. better. Yeah. You feel safe. Better. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Feel safe, man. You feel safe, man. Now, Evan told us that you have a song, right? Oh yes. Yes. He Why does Evan tell every secret <laughs> of yours that there is? This is one of the this is one of the bad ones too. This is probably the worst. You're not happy with your song. Um, not, not happy with it. No, were you playing any instruments? No, I didn't even write the lyrics. All right. I just, just a I'm cover basically song. just like the cover person. Like I'm the content. Okay. So, Who wrote well, the song? My friend Luke. You got any women friend? Oh, oh, in college I do. But not in real life. Oh no. <laughs> you still with your girlfriend? Yeah. Let's see a picture of her. Oh, I'd love to see that. Yeah. Show us. Uh, she's Hopefully my, she's black. She's on my screensaver. That was uh, just last week. Oh, oh did somebody? Oh, wait, someone text? She yeah. just texted me. What'd she text? Don't she show me the knows. picture. Oh <laughs> my god, she's so cute. You say, Isn't she cute? I don't know. The phone went off. What, is that? what happens there? It just fucking went black. <laughs> you charging your phone, Matt? I love her hair. Yeah. I think she's a. I also love that. Why does it ask me for face ID? What? <laughs> you're just handing a phone over. Yeah. Here, here. It's modern times. Here you go, I got you. Go to your Instagram. Matt. Where'd you meet her at? Uh, we met at school. College or high school? College. Yeah. This is the one, according to Evan, you had the pregnancy scare with? <laughs> yes. Was that true? She's yeah, it's really very, very true, unfortunately. But we're good. Jesus Christ, she's adorable. She's really cute. No, she's so cute, yeah. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> <laughs> I could see it. Any more pics? Yeah, you can. Oh, just keep going through. We went to Ithaca last week um, on our week off. Everybody was upstate. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Jamestown soon. Hope they don't. I don't get jumped. <laughs> I hope not. Jesus. Here is a set of waterfall. 
Oh my god, she is adorable. You're, you're still running the board on that. You're yes. just blasting Sorry. out waterfalls instead of <laughs> enjoying He's it. He's upset. Yeah, what are you doing over there? Are you writing the women? Oh, no, I'm not writing any women. No, not, not during the show. What were you doing when you walked away from the board? I, I got a like a, a notification. For I don't what? Know what it, I don't know what it, It's like for an app. I don't even know what it's for. Oh. Hmm. It's something I never saw before. And that's more important than your show. It's not. I was just... I was... I was uh, confused. <laughs> All right, uh, Shreka wrote, what is Earl telling the girls he does for a living? Because um, I can't wait for them to start calling in saying they fell in love with Chris. <laughs> and then um, Spoonman wants to know what you thought about Rachel. Is it Dolazar? The one that pretended yeah, never, she... Dolazar. Do, yeah, some, I don't It's an L at the end. Is it? I was yeah. Zell or something. I don't, Dolzel. What did I you think know. of that situation, Earl? Thought it was ridiculous. In what way? <laughs> what? She's making a fool out of her, out of herself. Like, like, like you're, you're a white woman. Be a white woman. Why can't? Do you feel the same way about transgender people? Um, different approach. Much what different way? approach. Like, they, hey, they feel more comfortable as. You know, they feel like they're not, they feel more female than male. Well, she felt more black than white. Yeah, but it was so, it was so, for lack of a better word. The second that she, (laughs) she turned into a black woman, you wanted to smack the taste out of her mouth. Not at all. I just thought. You wanted to put her in her place. Not at all. Earl, we can't talk to any more black ladies on this app. I don't (laughs) trust you with them. By the way, she looks very black in that picture. Yeah. She pulled it off. Don't, let's hear his uh, song. Uh, Chris, do you have it? This yes. is Matt's song. Yeah, this, this is, is my song. Yeah. My name is Matt. <laughs> it's good. Hi, how are you? I'm doing quite well. Yes, I'll have a sandwich with cheese on it. No, nothing else, just cheese. Toast it, please. Go. Listen up, listen up, cause it's time to thicken up. Yeah. It's time to talk and be in shock, cause I'm about to light it up. I'm killing it like OJ. I don't care what you say. Make it run so fast. Tell him it's a hot vocab. See the moon in the sky. Tell him, nice, nice job, my, my guy. guy. So don't say nothing to me. I'm the beast and I'm the beauty. My name is Matt. I am the greatest of them all yeah. Say I can't write cue cards Why your girl keep calling Wreck point guard I stay John Wallen Big baller man Cause yeah. I be yeah. LeVar yeah. Ball yeah. Is I am the greatest of them all Say I can't write cue cards Why your girl keep calling Wreck point guard I stay John Wallen Big baller man Cause I be LeVar Ballin Sweatshirt khaki hug Yeah, that's how I be dressing yeah. Haters talking to me But you know I ain't be stressing Ooh. 10 million hats And 10 million dollars Making all that bank Cause I'm working for my father Let's go on and off But I keep staying on Light it up Like I'm celebrating Ramadan Shout out Ramadan Stay up all night Cause I'm working on my craft Congrats to the Giants On the first look in the draft And I am the greatest Wake up real early And stay up the latest Late you don't like me You just hate it Cause you ain't it I see the throne And I'm about to claim it My name is Matt And I am the greatest Wake up real early and stay up the latest If you don't like me, you just hate it cause you ain't it I see the throne and I'm about to claim it Millie Bobby Brown 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 Shout out Paris Millie Bobby Brown Cheese and bread Millie Period six gym. Frag Nation. My name is Matt. I am the greatest of them all. Say I can't write two cards while your girl keep calling. Wreck point guard. I stay John Walden. Big baller man, cause I be LeVar Ball. My name is Matt. And I am the greatest. Wake up real early and stay up the latest. If you don't like me, you just hate it cause you ain't it. I see the throne and I'm about
about to claim it. My name is Matt, 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 Matt. Uh, that's uh, our intern, Matt. Uh, and the song is My Name is Matt. What'd you think, girl? Um, I liked it when he was just doing the, the, the when he had like a really steady flow. Mm -hmm. it, the song kind of lost, I guess, focus when he was breaking things down. And I thought the can need a, it needs a little edit at the end. I would honestly say this: I like it the exact same as any rap song I've ever heard in my life. I have <laughs> no difference pretty, between that. I'll yeah. take that. I'll I'll take, take that. it as a tie for every rap song. What do you think, Kel? Uh I call it a smash. <laughs> smash. I particularly like Millie Bobby Brown. Yeah, I like that too. <laughs> Uh, where were you on this? I loved all the references in it. Um, I, I'm concerned. What's frack nation? You um, pro fracking? Oh uh, yeah. So well, so like you know how like regular like hydraulic fracking is like drilling into the ground. Sure. Yeah. So I kind of like during senior year of high school decided I wanted to change that to being a picture, a selfie you take in the mirror where you get the front of your face and the back of your head, so like front and back at the same time. Uh, frack. Frack. I like frack. It. Okay. Yeah. okay, good. You want to have to spin on <laughs> yeah, okay. You know what? Smash. The other thing I like, you brought up cue cards. Yeah. yeah, yeah that, that was a really shout, shout out. Yeah. 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 So yeah, smash. You've done some cue card work? Yes, I have. What show? Uh, SNL. The wow. Yeah, The Tonight Show. Is that nerve-wracking? Yeah, it's scary. It's terrifying, actually, especially, right. like, holding during the show. Is, yeah, I can't imagine. I, it's terrifying. I think the but, same, I think, I think turning the thing, yeah. I think I would I, oh. like, just say the Like, you ever just, like, think, what if I just dropped oh, all yeah. of these right now, yeah. and then they'd be all out of order? Yeah, no, and I also think, like, I could just reach my hand, like, two inches, and, like, I'm on national TV. Right. Like, oh, that's true. I didn't even think that. I see that. Wally all the time. Oh, yeah. I oh, see yeah, Wally think... all the fucking time. Yeah. yeah and no, I yell, there's Wally. Yeah, he's on, <laughs> he's on like, consistently. Yeah. Consistently. Uh, let's go over here to uh, Frank in the Bronx. Hey, Frank, long time, buddy. What's up? What's up, Ernie? How's that beautiful little grandchild? Oh, everything's great, pal. <laughs> just great. Awesome. So I'm just wondering, I don't know if it's me, but can try and focus and concentrate and run a show without being bothered with apps in the background? It's actually taking away from my enjoyment of the station. Frank, I don't need your fucking bullshit and tell me how to do my job, it okay? It's so much that you're well, doing your job, well, but yeah. you were going to the apps instead of talking. He were going to That's, you, that's like, fine. I understand what you're saying. But yeah. Frank, you're an asshole, and I don't need you calling up and just shitting all over me saying I'm ruining your experience of the show. I'm just being honest with you. And, by, by the and way, I'm being honest with you. But Chris, that's good. Is this because he's a white man and it would be a lot different if a black woman was strong? Because you were very nice with Sade. I yeah, was he, very nice with Sade. No, this guy's just a jerk. And he's Frank? Just, yeah, Frank. Frank from the Bronx. He's just he's giving me a bunch of shit that you think, I don't need to take. Hold on. I think you're yep. thinking Frank from Bro Boston. Oh, this is Frank from the Bronx. <laughs> this is different. Yeah. Mistake, but no. I'll be honest with you. are making a big mistake, but I, I just like you want to see like a real fucking tourist down there, but... Honestly. What the? F what'd you just say? I'm a fucking tourist. Yeah. I don't think you know shit about the Bronx. That's what I fucking think. <laughs> yeah, you laugh it off because you don't you know. You are dick. living like a tourist, dude. Yeah. How am I living like a tourist? I'm living <laughs> it up. You're living. Yeah, you're living it up, all right. That's Every time I see you, you and your girlfriend, back. you're on a double decker red thing. With <laughs> it's a nice way to spend an afternoon. <laughs> Take your car to so fucking Westchester, though. What'd you see? You're breaking up. Hat. You're breaking up. Yeah, yeah, what does I that mean? I mean, you're attacking him for his phone? <laughs> it's not yeah. his I'm fault. sorry you have you such a terrible phone service. What are you on, Sprint? Yeah, yeah, T-Mobile, fuck face. That's, oh, even, fuck, that's even fucking worse. He, no, fucking he got, got you, you, dude. <laughs> he fucking got you with a T-Mobile. Mm -hmm. That's even worse than fucking Sprint. I don't think it is. What? 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 Yeah, right, jerk off. I'm on the right. I, I think don't maybe you should jerk off. Dude, I think you should jerk, jerk off Why would you ask him to jerk off? That's so weird. I think maybe you should make yourself come, Frank. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's stupid. He just hung oh, up. Yo, that's oh, fucking oh, Frank oh, from no. the Bronx. He's a fucking pal. You yeah. know what? That's crazy because you think he's coming at you like yeah. he wasn't. Well, now he's coming by himself somewhere. That's so weird. It's That's it not a thing to say when you're fighting with that's someone. Who's I don't, you don't want you them to masturbate and I come to completion. <laughs> I don't want them coming at me or near me. What? I can't believe that just happened. I don't know happened. what's going it on. It happens. These guys. These all are right, our Chris, listeners. it happens. I'm f I feel fucking nuts. You're acting. You, the nuts. odd thing is your hair hasn't looked as good since the humidity started. Uh, thank you, Ron. And today's good. You know the rain's coming today. I know. I don't want to fucking deal with it. Jesus, Chris, yeah. I, I don't know why you just snap like that. 
Because he was coming at me. He really wasn't coming at you me. You know how I think of strangers? Like a friend I haven't met yet. That's what I think of a stranger. <laughs> yeah, well, really it, good uh, yeah. Yeah, good yeah, outlook, str- huh? this, And I'll say to people, yeah. I'll go, hi, friend. I don't know your well, name yet. Well, that's pushing it, maybe. <laughs> Come over here, friend. <laughs> And give me a big hug. You want to stay at my house tonight, friend? I understand that. But <laughs> try that. Hey, friend, could you lend me some money? <laughs> you know me. I'll get it back to you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need this Frank from the Bronx type calling up and making me you look mean like an Frank idiot. Frank from the Bronx type? Because that's <laughs> exactly that's what he is. who he is. You know that's... something, Chris? You're living yeah. like a fucking tourist down there. Yeah. You know what I'm I saying? I, I thought that was... Quite a statement. I that know was, I like that. Too. That yeah. was I'm gonna use it. Bullshit. Yeah. That was good. I hope Frank calls back. I hope he sometimes does. when I'm fighting with people, I go like this: Go back to fucking Nantucket. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> and I like it because it probably just like it throws them for a yeah, second. They, they don't go, know what to say. They're next. like, I'm they're not like, from what? Nantucket. I go, really? With that fucking shirt, no <laughs> shoes. That's good. <laughs> Nantucket scumbags. Yeah. <laughs> So, and I have said, like, when people say they don't like smoking, I go like this. Really? Because fucking California is a big state. You know, you can go back there. <laughs> good. Frank's a good fucking guy. Though. I don't think a good he caller is. For I, years. I, I know. So. I, I, I recognize the name and the location. You think, well, you were thinking Frank from Boston. Is that what you were thinking? I hear bees and I just get confused. But look, he was calling me out. Like, bees? Like, you like you think there's honey there? <laughs> You think someone's fucking making it? Yeah, he wasn't big calling bear? You. you know what? You were the one looking at your app, and you're looking at your no, app now. he's I doing just it. He's just What's your text it. for? <laughs> Who is texting you? Someone is coming up soon. Who's that? Oh, Michelle with one L. Should we go to break? We can go to break, yeah. When we go to break, why don't you fucking cool down for five yeah, minutes? I mean, I'm Seriously, to. everyone Earl, needs to take a chill pill. Change your fucking way you talk to black women. I will Matt, talk. great fucking song. Yeah, real Thank good. You. Thank you. Gail, mm-hmm. make sure you pump today. I will. Probably in a half Vino, hour. Either fucking change your attitude or grow your fucking weight back. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't go for the joke anymore, right? Remember he was a doll baby. I know. Remember what like when we were going to Montreal, he goes, We all go to that ice cream place yeah. together. He was Chocolate like a little, pleasure. You know what you remind me of a little uh <laughs> A cupie doll. That's like what a little he fat fucking kid cute, that was like a, a ball to be Adorable cupie doll. I just want him to be fat again. Chocolate favors. That was him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. What I would do to have a nice chocolate ice cream with my old fat friend. Right. We can be fat together eating ice. Remember cream. when the three of us used to just rub our bellies together? Yeah, that was amazing. Those <laughs> hey, were the good old days. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's go to break, Bennington.